Hello, my beautiful moms and dads. Welcome back. Today, we're gonna jump right into it. We are talking about potty training. So let's do it. Okay, so we're talking about potty training boys specifically today because Nadia is 10 <laughs> and um, she was actually a whole lot easier to potty train than Raylan was. And I've heard before like, girls are easier to train than boys, which for me was definitely the case. Like she was But anyway, um, Raylan, it's been so a process. What I read is by 18 months, you can start potty training. Well, that definitely was not the case for us, like at all. Um, Raylan, simply put, was not ready. So we kept trying, honestly. We had kept trying but it didn't work out. My mother-in-law had bought us a potty. So um, he, um, we got that and we were trying and it just, it was not successful. He simply was not ready. We did switch over um, to pull-ups though. We did go ahead and transition from diapers to pull-ups. Um, the pull-up brand that we chose was Pampers because that is the diaper brand that we So we did using. the Pampers, we did the pull-ups and I mean, we we did that for a while. So at 18 months is when we started trying, but it wasn't panning out. By the time he made two, it still was not panning out. Like, it just, we were trying, he simply was not ready. And that would be like the main thing that I tell you, make sure that your child is ready. So by, he'll be three in June of this year, and we're now in February. So October, I would I say, say I just got really frustrated with changing grown man diapers. Like seriously, y'all. I was at the point where I'm changing grown, no, that's not gonna work for me. So I was like, I wouldn't have to be going through this if he was potty trained. So it was a Sunday afternoon, we were all at home and he had just peed in a pull up without telling us cause we were still trying like constantly saying, let us know we have to use it. And I was like, you know what? We're taking it off, naked, the rest of the day. So that's what we did. Like I took that pull up off of him. I put the potty training toilet in the front room. I set it right there where he could see it. I showed it to him. I said, Raylan, when you have to potty, go sit on this potty. Y'all, not a single accident all day. Not one, I'm not even joking. Didn't pee on the floor, nothing. I was like, yes, let's do this right let's do this so the next day i think for the following three days that's what i did i had the potty in the front room and i had no pants on him no accidents i was so excited so whenever we did nap time i would put a pull up on him and after that nothing so then by the fourth day i want to say we moved the toilet into the bathroom same thing, nothing on for the rest of the week, all the way till Sunday. By Monday, we were putting on an underwear. We had several accidents, but we were still having a semi-success rate, which was, I'm still pleased. We were you still, know? we were using pull-ups a lot because we only had um, like three pair of underwear for him. We didn't have very many. My mother-in-law had just grabbed some one time when she was out here and that was it. I hadn't picked up any. I was just using the pull-ups. The pull-ups were a problem at this point. He would use it like it was a diaper. He wouldn't um, try and use it if he had a pull-up on. He wouldn't try and go to the potty unless it was full. So after he had peed several times in the pull-up, then when it was like maxed out, he would I got a potty, you know, and so we see, hey, his pull up is completely full. So for us doing the pull up once potty training started, unless it was nighttime, did not work. That wasn't, it just wasn't a good system for Raylan because he still wanted to use it like it was a diaper. So we completely, we went and picked up more underwear and we completely switched over to underwear unless it was nighttime. So now we're at the point we've had, we're at the point where 
he can go, we go to church and cheer practice and we go out with underwear on and he's able to use the bathroom. We have not had, we had one outing accident, which is really good when you think about like, that's it. He's always good at telling me that he has to use the restroom. So I'm very excited. I'm very pleased. It was a very hard course. Like I said, we started at 18 months and now he's about to be three. So it's, it was not easy by any means. My tip to you would definitely be know that your child is ready. Look for those signs that your child is ready. And even with those signs, sometimes it doesn't work out because we saw signs with Raylan and that wasn't the case. So let me show you the different types of underwear that we have used and was, still are using. But these, which have like <laughs> the little um, doggy on the bottom, but they're lined. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? They're lined on the inside and they also have like a absorbent And then the next key. one that she purchased, um, which is also Gerber. I really like these and honestly I would like to get some more of these um, I like these because they don't have the lining but they still have like this thick absorbent material like right it's like it's double lined on the inside of here padded or I'm something gonna show like you that. these these are called overnights hold on good nights and they're by good nights if I'm not mistaken these come with these on the inside it's just like with a cloth diaper on the inside it's it has this lining and then you stick this like pad like material inside of there and then overnight. the last two pair that we've used are the Hanes which is um, is the Hanes which is the most recent um purchase i purchased these most recently i guess i should have showed the other ones first since these are the very last ones I've purchased. and then this is the pair that i bought before that and he has like three four five he has five of these and um i really like these they're you know like the boxer briefs i think they're called yeah boxer briefs and i just thought they were so cute so those and are so the underwear that we are currently using that's working for him. Like I said, um, we don't really do the pull-ups and if we do, which is going to be nighttime, is the Pampers uh, brand just because that's what so works If you have us. any questions, comments, ideas, um, tips, because as you know, I will have to do this again with Riley. So if you have like any system that you want to tell me about, please leave a comment down below. I love talking to you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out last week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.